Come on in. Welcome to my office. I'm Jared Moskowitz. I represent Florida Congressional District 23, which runs from Boca Raton all the way to Fort Lauderdale. And I'm from the city of Parkland. And this is Bon Bon, our mental health coordinator. Right, Bon Bon? I'm a sneakerhead. I'm a huge Jordan fan. Michael Jordan's the greatest basketball player of all time. I don't want to hear about anyone else. It's all, no it's all nonsense. It's only Michael. Uh, but I'm a huge Jordan fan. I have, I don't know, 150 plus Jordans. But the story goes like this. During the election, I got to go to a lunch with Hakeem Jeffries. And so I was all dressed up. I, you know, tried to want to impress Hakeem, you know, wearing, you know, nice Oxford shoes, ties. And I get there and Hakeem's in sneakers. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm, I'm like, Hakeem, I would have worn sneakers. I didn't know we could do that. He goes, fun fact, the uh, mandatory house attire for men, there's nothing about shoes. You, you, you know, you can wear whatever shoes you want. And so I was like, fun fact, I have lots of sneakers. And so I just started wearing them one day, just like as a fun little social experiment. You know, there's all sorts of stairs. The ideal that the women representatives here wear heels all over the place is mind boggling to me. So it became kind of a way again to connect to people. We're gonna be maybe eventually starting a caucus about the sneakers. Well, it's gun violence prevention. We've spent a lot of time focusing on stuff that really doesn't matter whether it's what people say on Twitter or President's son's laptop, you know, DC public urination. But we've not had a hearing on the fact that when parents tuck their kids in at night and then they dress them in the morning to go to school, somewhere in the back of parents' mind, they don't feel that their kid is safe at school. And the idea that we should do nothing is ridiculous. Okay, there are areas we don't agree on. I think we should ban assault weapons, but if we can't get that done, why can't we talk about hardening of schools? Why can't we talk about mental health? Why can't we talk about red flag laws? Why can't we talk about background checks? Something that, you know, we should talk to the American people more about is that, you know, they go on social media and they see these posts or they watch a committee hearing and they see, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 members that just, you know, seem totally batch crazy. Um, but what happens is once the cameras are off we, and you talk to them on the floor, they're pretty normal. There's a lot of off-Broadway performances, and I say off-Broadway because they're not good enough to get on Broadway, where people are performing for the camera, they're performing for their district, they're performing to raise money, they're performing to go viral, they're performing to get on media, because there's incentives to do that. What's surprising is, is that when you meet with some of these Republicans who, you know, in committee, you're like, wow, I can't believe they may have said that. You go to lunch with them, and you're like, they, they were delightful. We had a great, great lunch, got along, all that nonsense is, you know, goes out the window. You know, how little time we're up here. We're only here like 10 days a month. We're here three and a half days a week, basically. You come up on a Monday, you leave on a Thursday, and that's only three weeks uh, out of the month because one week you're off. So we're here a total of, you know, nine or 10 nights a month. So we spend such little time here, which is one reason why things take so long to get accomplished. It's also another reason why we don't know a lot about each other, especially people on the other side of the aisle. We don't spend any time with them at all. Uh, no, during social events, I remember during um, you know, the very beginning when freshmen came up here for orientation. Freshmen, were, we were all stayed at one hotel. We were on different floors. Democrats and Republicans were separated by floor. We, our evening events were different, not one bipartisan event. So how little time we're up here, it means we don't really get to know, learn a lot about each other, which is also why it's so easy to create uh, friction and you know, call the other side the enemy of America when we don't know anything about each other. You want me to hold Grogu? Yeah. Do you want? I, I walk around with Grogu, make it really weird. Come on, Grogu. Have you seen the latest episode? Of course I saw the latest episode. It was amazing with the Praetorian guards that come out at the end. So good. So good. So good. Like, the ep the, the, like the season has been like meandering, like where, where are we going? Oh, by the way, this is Grogu, he does all my press. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, that episode, that, that made the whole season. Yeah, like, then coming out at the end. Yeah, yeah, really that cool. Explains.